and you're a radical. So Shannon Darty has passed away of cancer. If that is not a wake up call to an entire generation, I don't know what the fuck is. Who's more iconic than her for that generation? Nobody. Nobody. She got cancer in 2015, just like the Pacific Ocean. I mean, in earnest, as I've been screaming and yelling about this, I'm a 1% survivor. And by the way, the rhetoric that she lost her, she didn't lose her battle. I'm so tired of hearing that they lost. No, no, no. It's not if you win or lose. It's how you play the game. The fight is the life. Death, you know, there's, I love it how people are still telling me how to survive cancer. I have AML de nuvo in 2011. Give it two months to live. I'm alive. It's a hell of a battle. Cancer's a motherfucker. I don't care who it is. And what it is, it's brutal. It's not left, right. It's not political. It's earth poisoners. And we're not allowed to go after the people that are freaking giving us cancer. So as Kevin Lynch said, now, I don't do opinion. I'm a scientist. You know, the great Pacific genesis, all the typo work, the tree work, all of it. I've proven unequivocally that Fukushima... And the cover-up is so deadly, it's unbelievable. We know longevity started to head south in 2012. We know that cancers became more aggressive and more radical now. As I reported in real time, look, I got cancer in 2011. I'm screaming, this is going to give you cancer. This is the These are full-blown-out mouth. This is the greatest ecologic catastrophe. Just three moves left to right. Hammered California. Hammered freaking Oregon, Washington. Hammered right here. I was working right up there. Oh, I got it. Fucking given two months to live. I don't know how I got through, but... What a tragedy. So as I reported then, look, I lived in the bone marrow transplant at LDS East State. I was the pioneer that started doing videos in there. And the brass that run LDS East State were all over me. And I'm like, you sure took my money. You sure, went, you know, fuck you. I'm in here fighting for my life. The fight's intense as fuck. It's radical as fuck. I weighed 119 pounds. Had no pigment in my eyes. Blisters on my fucking tongue. I had fuck going in and out of a coma. I watched so many people fucking die in there. It's so radical and hardcore, you have no fucking clue. I remember inviting Megan and Melissa, the two massage therapists. Bimbo's like, Kevin, I'll let you, you know, invite people in here for your work, for field trip. So I invited everyone. Nobody's got the guts to go. Those two girls went, spent the whole day with me in there. Have you ever been in a hardcore, radical, unit like that oh oh i remember they both just cried all the way fucking home and they both said it changed their entire fucking world how they think how they live whatever as i reported then i can remember fimbo telling me right to you we're talking one of the greatest oncologists in the fucking world kevin i've never seen such a radical outbreak as here in 2011 it's more radical it's more tense up there in Oregon, man, there was an oncologist from Seattle in Washington. And she was doing some YouTube videos. I was working with her when I was fighting my central line, hanging out, about the radical nature of these cancers appear. Another Fukushima coincidence. I'm just are baffled. They're mystified. They're, no, no. Oncologists are not baffled. They're not mystified. They're not freaking. They know. They know. But we've passed these bullshit hip laws to protect the earth poisoners, to protect Roundup, to protect the nuclear energy crime syndicate. I mean, what the Nuclear Energy Crime Syndicate did is so vile, so radical, and the people that participated, the bootlickers in the cover-up. She was an oncologist, a young oncologist in Seattle. She was doing YouTube videos about Fukushima going on. She got cancer, breast cancer, really radical, radical. And she talked about this in 2013, 2014. I think she passed away in 2014. She talked about, she had, as an oncologist, she'd been a young oncologist for 20 years, and she'd never seen such radical, extreme, aggressive cancers. I lived it. I lived it. That unit, look up Marshall Jensen. He was in the room next to me. That's probably the most famous leukemia patient freaking maybe in history. He passed away. You know, Carla, Kevin and Carla. I mean, the whole group of us was in there. I'm the only one alive. We know that these extreme radical cancers, there's studies out there popping up, verifying Kevin work every day that they started to happen in 2012. 2011. Just another point to the dead tide pools right there. I don't think people even in Los Angeles even realize about Santa Susana. Yet we're promoting more of these little SMR fairy tales. The nuclear energy propaganda machine is over the fucking top. 
What, there's a renaissance in fucking nuclear energy? What, because they sold you there was? Because you saw it on the internet? So you're going to buy the stock? Fuck, well, fuck karma. I mean, this should be a giant fucking wake-up call to everybody. You don't think she had access to fucking incredible health care. You don't think she had access to fucking whatever she needed to fight. I call it the reverse lottery. It can happen to anybody, anywhere, anytime, any place. Black, white, brown, old, fucking young, fucking anybody, anybody. You know, and they want to blame me for a lifestyle choice, whatever. It's bullshit. They want to ignore the environmental component, won't fucking factor. That's what I do. I mean, I have proven, absolutely proven these cancers got more radical and aggressive in 2011-2012. Longevity headed south in 2011-2012. The fucking dead tide pulls at your feet. You don't think we're connected with that ocean? The fucking radical well collapse. The seals and the... Look, these seals fucking got this... They're the same DNA as us. They're like 99%. We know. Remember when I was walking the coast of California 2014-15 reporting that all the seals and the sea lions were showing up with fucking leukemia? Fuck, now they're shooting them in Oregon. Or eating salmon. I mean, the place is insane. How can we continue to ignore the fucking... They're still spraying Roundup all over. Oh, they're going to settle with... No, they're not. These are monsters. How can we not fucking fight back? You know, and I don't believe in violence. I fucking think violence... Well, I know it. Violence just perpetuates more violence. It's not the fucking answer. The tough love? Fuck it. How can we allow these environmental fucking talks... When they, I mean, they're doing it themselves. Sudden illness. Mia loves fighting for her fucking life with fucking stage four brain cancer. You know how young she is? Third dressing, you know, I reached out to her during fiction. I reached out to all these people. You know, don't you get this? This is not political. This is not left fucking right. It's not. I mean, there's the problem, I guess. The problem is it isn't left and right because we get no traction. Remember the radical right took this on, the Jones rents thing? Yeah, to Sarah freaking... Merchandise that have marked up fucking site. They get rich when they're using my typo videos on their fucking sites. I mean, I don't, I don't understand the way people think. I really don't get the way people fucking think. They're trading in their fucking health for some asshole fucking oligarchs fucking wealth you never met. How can we allow these monsters? Fuck, they poison our food chain. They poison our body. They cover up Fukushima is the greatest crime in human fucking history. How many lives did it cost? We know the cancer rates got more aggressive and more fucking radical in 2011, 2012. And they never look back. They're younger. They're strong. Look, I lived in there. I don't eat, sleep, drink this. I sleep with it. It's like Southern Utah. Oh, it's not right. Life excavated. Oh, really? 350 ever. You know, the downwinder compensation. Mike Lee. Oh, I just found out my what? Dad's a downwinder. Oh, you're not? The half-lives of this shit are fucking millions of years. You're telling me that the Fukushima disaster, three, four full-blown out mount, mount bounds, eight spent fuel pools, MOX fuel, the biggest fucking load of fucking nuclear waste probably on the fucking planet, and there's no byproduct from that? That scientists are mystified, they're baffled, they're stumped, they're cured. Oh, radical fucking increase in cancer. Fucking more extreme, more radical. Dead tide pools, all wasting disease just happened 2011, 2012. That's all. Uh, 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 well, starvation, we call these outliers in science. Look, all you doctors, all you fucking oncologists, all you fucking research PhDs, you've turned out to be frauds. Go turn over your work to the J store. <laughs> maybe Aaron Swartz can fucking download it, fucking put it into the internet. Or uh, maybe WikiLeaks can leak it out. It's the greatest ecological catastrophe in human fucking history. And you're telling me that full blown out fucking nuclear never happened to my act, never happened to Santa Susana. Oh boy, LA. Never happened at Idaho National Lab pulling them off the scene. Never happened at Chalk fucking River. Never happened at Pathfinder in South Dakota. Never happened at Three Mile Island. Never happened at Chernobyl. How many hundreds of thousands of men fucking entombed that? They didn't do shit at Fukushima. This is the first time in human history this genie got out. And I don't do coincidence. I do not do coincidence. I'm, a, I'm the real scientist. I'm not baffled. I'm not mystified. I'm not stumped. I'm not curious. I'm not even fucking alarmed. Don't fucking listen to a word I did. You know, science is proven to be a fraud. How can you sit and fucking still go along and think that Noah, these different people that come out with this bullshit fucking studies. Look, the Nuclear Energy Crime Syndicate, the Manhattan Project turned on the spigot. 
We flood fucking trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars to this industry. It's a loot job. Same with NASA. The money goes to fuck poor to NASA. Ask not what I can do for my country. Ask what I can loot from my country. Just flows to these. What do they do with it? They steal it. They infiltrate. Price Anderson just gets up for another fucking 20 years just now. Nobody reports it but me. What the fuck? What's that? The Immunity Act. We just throw more money to them. Stephen Bechtel on the Hill. Well, you were paid to put triple liners around Hanford. Now, they, remember, this is Obama. i got to tell you, don't know what Hanford is. This guy propped up by Axelrod. Fucking Axelrod? Out of the nuclear industry? Exelon? By the way, the CEO of Exelon, who got all the fucking pork, uh, who promoted this fucking nuclear bell at Saskin Cuomo, New York, Harden, he just passed away of a sudden illness. So did Chris Cannon right here. Fucking sudden illness. These people are young. So it's fucking believable. Well, I got to tell you, how come you didn't put triple liners around the tanks at Hanford when you were paid to do it? He threw it right back on Congress. Because of you. Hope you to all you congressional congressmen and women who voted for Price Anderson for another 20 I hope you don't get cancer. All you people that are allowing Bear Monsanto to steal poisons here in the United States, hope you don't get cancer. It's unbelievable to me. <laughs> Fucking, the, we ignore the, they want to blame it on genetics. They want to blame it on lifestyle style choices. It's bullshit. We know the environmental component is the component. We know the radical outlier was in fucking 2011, 2012. Well, that's an hour I've proven it. The fucking salmon number collapse. Healthy, I mean, I've unequivocally fucking to nausea recorded this acute right at the greatest outlier. What's an outlier in human history? We know factually something happened in the Pacific Ocean back because of the salmon data, the well data, the dead type of, oh, just wasting disease, just starvation. Now the 75 biologists come out and agree with Kevin Blanche that I did it in real time. I'm the guy reporting this from the beginning that this was a starvation event. These are full blown up mountains. They're going to circle the wagons. They're going to lie. They're going to cover up fucking they're going to push this energy in the Pacific Ocean. It's going to break the chain. It's going to fry out the fucking plankton. Big fish eat little fish. First, we'll go the anchovies and sardines. Tide pools will go first. Fuck, do you believe me? I had to walk the coast of California. Why I'm fucking with a central... Why well, I'm dying of cancer. I'm so full of looking. My daughters are like, you're crazy. You go out there. I'm too sick for a transplant. I'm dying. No money. I was a millionaire when I got sick. Self-made fucking millionaire. Remember all that test on Apple stock I have? And I made so many people. Nobody supports me. Nobody. I have no funding now. Zero funding. Everybody's quit. So, I mean, none. The more credible my work becomes, the more verified, the more people flee from me. They can't handle the truth. They don't want the fucking truth. See no nuclear energy. Speak no nuclear energy. Hear no nuclear energy. The nuclear energy emperors, they have no fucking clothes. I mean, it's unbelievable how radical. I've proven this. I've absolutely, unequivocally, fucking the greatest scientist in fucking probably modern history, Kevin Lynch. First, you hypothesize the knowledge. These are full blown out meltdowns. This is the greatest. This has never happened to anywhere in the history of mankind. This energy is going to release a fucking energy into the Pacific Ocean. It's going to get into the pine trees. It's going to fry. It's going to cause fire. It's going to cause a heat dome over the western United States. It's going to cause a fucking. Just the greatest drought in 1,200 years, unequivocally, unarguable, happened in 2011. All this data, 2011, 2012, 20, fucking just piles and piles and piles of being verified fucking. I did it in real time. First you hypothesize the knowledge. Then you do the field work. It's going to give you cancer. I got cancer. That's full of AML leukemia, wiped out to nothing. Here I'm walking the coast of California, documented type, of, and Rance and fucking Alice Jones and people like that are all over me fucking putting my videos on their sites. Marking up Patriot survival gear, fucking thousands and thousands of percent, making millions of men. Do you know neither one of them sent me five cents? I mean, I remember I did in 2013. I'm so sick. I'm fucking dying. I says, okay, I'll do interviews. I did 90 interviews in 60 days. Some of the most radical and say, not one single fucking person. Every person, it was the economy of fear. They were profiting off my fucking work. I mean, talk about sick fuckers. Making millions, can't send me, and they're using my tide pool, but I'm sleeping in a sleeping bag out there. I'm lucky if I got enough fucking money to get a fucking sandwich to eat or some juice. What a fucking story. What a story. Of course, it's spite that I was born to set this right. If this doesn't wake you up, her death.
to an entire generation. These cancers are fucking more radical. They're more aggressive, which I reported that in 2011, in 2012. Again, I don't do opinion. I do not do opinion. I'm a scientist. I'm a scientist. I don't eat, sleep, drink this shit. I sleep with it. I've had open heart surgery fucking twice because the chemo took out my aortic valve. No safety. Now, Mike Lee kicks me off fucking Medicaid. Don't you think that's attempted? Holy fuck what they've done to me. I mean, literally, hundreds, literally hundreds of Reddit, Twitter feeds, all kinds of fucking all over out there, YouTube sites, Facebook pages, 100% committed with my name on it to slander Kevin Blanche. While in critical, which are felonies in all 50 states. Never got an attorney, never got an IT, never got any real funding. Every time somebody stepped up, like these guys from Canada were going to give me some real funding, somebody slithered in and fucking got it away from me. Every fucking time. Never got any real fucking funding. Never did. You know, I fucking survived. I mean, I've had to sell things that I own. Fucking, I mean... Thank you to the people that have support, but they've all quit. You know, so it is what it is. You know, it's a part-time gig to everybody. Well, you know, Blanche, you're just a old-school anti-nuclear activist. You're old-school, you're old-fashioned. You're old-fashioned, yeah. Yeah, that fucking cancer's old-fashioned. You know, it's not. These cancers are new-fashioned. They're faster, they're stronger, they're more fucking aggressive. You don't think she, what an icon to that entire generation. What's more 1990s than her? You know, I saw Metallica right there in the fucking football field, 98. I mean, Metallica, fuck, well, they won't stand up. They won't say nothing. Nobody will because they think they're above it because they think all their fucking money and fucking fame and whatever. Their comfortability is not the zenith of life. You don't think she had access to the best oncologists in the world? I'll guarantee she did. It doesn't care. It kills rich. It kills poor. It kills black, brown, white, male, female, old, fucking young. It don't give a fuck. So radical. And then here we're connected with the ocean. The seals and the sea lions. Don't you see? We, we from the sea, we're the same thing. Fuck. Unbelievable what everyone's going through. And no one can connect the fucking dots. And you flee from Kevin Munch. Well, their answer. I mean, what they've done to me is so radical, so fucking extreme. I remember a woman telling me, she says, you're an AML leukemia survivor, aren't you? So far. Go get all your teeth pulled now. Because you're going to, one after another, no safety. I had to go to the clinic and slowly get one pulled after another. So much pain. My heart valve, Michael Hawkins, already told me to go see my dentist. Wouldn't he clean me up? My, I got a full blown out my heart valve spelled. I'm telling you, it's the chemo and my heart valve's gone. My gallbladder fucking ruptured. Because the two days before I was scheduled to have my gallbladder removed, because the chemo fucking destroys your gallbladder. Mike Lee kicked me off Medicaid. Fuck. No safety net. No, I don't know how the fuck I've done this. I really don't know how I've done it. Drive an old beat up fucking piece of shit fucking car. I mean, I mean, travel all over the fucking world with no fucking money. No thing. I mean, walking, literally walking. I mean, oh, fuck. I walk alone. I mean, These cancer deaths are so fucking heartbreaking and so... And they don't care if you're a Democrat or a Republican. They don't care if you're the CEO of fucking a company that bells out fucking thing. And, you're, you know, let's report it as sudden illness. It's like a guy I know from here. He's a big, tough guy. Fucking hunter, fucking blah, blah, blah. You're a fucking environmentalist. You're a fucking tree hugger, blind fuck. I see his obituary in the fucking paper. Natural causes, 51 years old. I'm at light the night. I run into his sister. I'm like, I know her. I'm like, what the fuck? She's Kevin. I said, real tough guy. You got fucking ammo? What? How come you didn't put that in? I didn't write that obituary. I mean, the right to know? We fucking need to all know. Fucking, they changed the fucking obituary law so we can't fucking, people like me, research PhD, we have no fucking clue. It's all to protect the nuclear energy crime city. They said Bear Monsanto fucking earth poisoners. There's a reason the United States is the fucking cancer capital of the fucking world, bar fucking none. You know, well, Iraq is passing this up close, so is, you know, different places in the Middle East because they're spraying depleted uranium all over people. Fuck, even the soldiers that come back, they stage them at the polygon. 
Oh. Nuclear fallout causes fucking cancer. Fukushima's the fucking three full Cormelas, eight cement fuel pools, mock fuel, the biggest load on earth. You tell me there's no byproduct for that? Fuck, talk about theater of the insane. There's so much blood on so many fucking people's fucking hands. I'm a fucking butcher, what's a cow? I'm a baker, what's a cake? I'm a fisherman, what's a boat? I'm a research PhD. I'm a scientist. I'm a university professor. What's Fukushima? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck. I don't believe this. No one seems to give a fuck. She says, Doctor told him, you have a radical form, it's ML, they drew the blood, they bone marrow bought scene. I've had 13, they go into your hip, drag it out. They're brutal, they're so fucking wicked. You're awake when it happens. Central line hammer, I weighed fucking 119 pounds, I weigh 170. Pigment out of my eyes, lost my teeth, lost my gallbladder, lost my, I've had open heart surgery twice, including this year, I have a pacemaker now. No safety net, no fucking support, slander. People fucking slander me. Everybody fleeing from me because they're so politically fucking branded in dogma. Dogma reinforcement's all the internet is anymore. Where was I supposed to? Put my work in the J store? Stay in the fucking golden fucking handcuffs and be a tenure professor and just come out and say I'm mystified, I'm stuffed, I'm baffled with the greatest ecological task force. And I knew it was the greatest PhD opportunity in the human history and I'm the only fucker that takes it. What a compelling fucking story. What a compelling story. And yet the fucking scientific community, they're not scientists. They're card packing, fucking carrying, tenured professors, NOAA, EPA, fucking Cal Berkeley, USC, fucking UCLA, fucking San Diego State, fucking Oregon, Oregon State, Washington, Washington Weber State, all of them. They're card carrying fucking bootlickers, environmental toxic poisoning bootlickers. Blame it on your fucking kitchen sink. The greatest ecological catastrophe in human fucking history. The greatest crime in human history. Done by fucking three different presidents. Fucking three different administrations. Fucking everybody's in? Everybody? Media, print media? Hey, grandma, grandma, grandma. Here, honey. Come on. I want to read you a bedtime story. All right, grandma. Well, I'm a little old for a bedtime story. I'm in junior high now. This is the future. Today, we learned in science class that there was a guy named Kevin Blanche. He was like Semmelweis. And he was an activist artist like Michelangelo. We learned that he was reporting in real detail the Fukushima disaster and how it had genocided the Pacific Ocean and caused these fucking radical events to happen all over. And he absolutely proved it, just like Semmelweis with germ theory. And his own government, his own people, everybody attacked him, went after him, fucking slandered him, went crazy, to the point they almost killed him. Fucking Kevin Blanche in March 2011. All new knowledge will be persecuted. <laughs> Whoa. Talk about see the future. Oh, curse the spite that I was ever born to set this right. Pop, 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 I'll be dropped. They never stopped. Oh, my God, that's terrible, honey. Grandma, weren't you a science professor at a university? Weren't you a print media? Didn't you edit? Didn't, weren't you a news reporter? Didn't you work the news desk? Weren't you a government employee for the EPA or NOAA? Weren't you a school teacher? Weren't you a so-called scientist? Didn't you work in me? I don't want you to read me a bit. In fact, I really don't think I ever want to talk to you again. My grandkids aren't going to say that about me. You know, I fight for her. She fights for we from the sea, Kevin D. The reality. Fucking heartbreaking. These fucking cancers are so radical. It's mowing people down. Younger, stronger, more aggressive. And no one seems to give a fuck. Their arrogance is beyond over the top. And we get more. Unfucking real. Unfucking real. Fuck this old beater. Kevin D. Blanche. We from the sea. Hmm. It's the ecology, stupid. Very heartbreaking. Very fucking sad. I mean, if this isn't a wake up call to everyone and everything, her death, I don't know what the fuck is. Who's more iconic of a generation of her? Well, I mean, she was in her 40s when she got cancer. I mean, she's barely 50. I got it when I was 51. 
I don't do opinion. I did my undergraduate work right there. I did my postgraduate work right there. That's the old science back when we really taught science. And they blackball me. Oh, the water school. Oh, the university G. And they blackball me. Pulled all my funding. Fucking treason is what they did to me. And like I said, I don't believe in violence. Cancer's pretty fucking violent, by the way. They do. The fight is the life. She didn't lose her fight. She did not. I'm sick of hearing that. Only the good die young. And if Henry Kissinger didn't prove that, I don't know what is. I'll talk to Henry before I go to Fukushima. These fucking monsters. It's genetics. It's fucking your life choices. It's your kitchen sink. It's the ecology, stupid. We from the sea. Kevin D. She didn't lose a fight. She did not lose. Only the good die young. Stay in tune.